There are certain things you need to know about Ridge Racer Ultimate Edition. When Ridge Racer first came out, the title was slammed for being so bare bones with only three maps, five cars, and a select number of songs. Everything else was for paid download. The Ultimate Edition, however, entitles you to six more maps, eight more cars, and a total of 88 songs. The song list certainly satisfies, but are the game's other features enough? Seelot Motorsport. Today, our team's objective is as follows. Here are the team's current rankings. The following objective has been selected by our sponsor. Zelot Motorsport will focus their attention solely on one team. This is our opposing team. Remember this insignia. Now to introduce three of our opponent's most powerful racers. Exercise extreme caution. That is all. Now, show me what you can do. The main draw of the game is its online mode where you compete against other players driving for one of four in-game teams that determines the other online players you ally with for the day and your overall global standing. It's a smart concept that's meant to inspire teamwork and rivalry. These days, however, you can't always count on other players being online, but their ghost data is readily available. It would have been helpful if there was a more organized way of finding other racers' data, especially those more attuned to your skill level. You could have some fun racing the AI in offline spot races and do time trials. Both come off as challenges at the start, making you see value in every precise drift and acceleration. But as soon as your basic specs get better, the AI gets left behind more easily, which isn't always a good thing if you're in the pursuit for an offline challenge. The leveling system creates some discrepancy for the online races. Although the game has an option for racing against players of the same skill level, due to its now sparse population, the few that are online are of the highest skill level. Racing in these lobbies feels unfair because unless you've reached the highest skill level and max your machines, their basic specs are going to be greater. In this way, the game expects you to put in some time playing to further your skill level, raise your machine rates, and unlock new upgrade kits before speeding through the full competitiveness of online play. As you play any of the races, the game grants credits, which you can then spend to equip your machine with three upgrade kits at a time. At first, the machine upgrade map looks big, but some parts are actually just tips that aren't all that helpful. Worse yet, some parts are actually empty, serving only as obstacles before reaching actual upgrades. You'll eventually unlock a dual mode that pits you against particularly fast competition in a one-on-one -on -one showdown. Luckily, you're able to enlist the support of fellow team members via their ghost data to help you start off. Ridge Racer Ultimate Edition still sports tight racing that demands your attention for each curve. Making the perfect drift is addictive, and being rewarded for nitrous only makes it more so. As your machine grades go up, so does your max speed, making straight tracks feel shorter and turns feel sharper, leading your skills to grow as you progress. Spot races are dependable for on-the-go racing, and retrying is fast, tempting for just one more race. Downloading and uploading ghost data can be just as fast, encouraging for races against new rivals. It's pleasing that the game is layered cleanly in a futuristic tint that adds strong personality. The cars look great. The landscape gives a sense of location, but nothing too impressive. The announcer, unfortunately, fails to give helpful hints and doesn't do much to be distinct. Also, get ready to play the same 9 maps over and over again. Though you can race in reverse, I wouldn't count them as additional maps. The 13 cars that do come packaged with the Ultimate Edition are unique enough from each other to develop players' preferences. Design customization, however, is limited to palette swaps. What surprised me most about the game was its 88 eccentric techno beats, including remixes and songs from past entries, ensuring that you'll familiarize with the landscape and the cars long before you'll wear out each track. The songs are a fit for a futuristic feel, they succeed in adding thrill, and races are even more of a blast with some decent headphones. Note that when downloading all the free songs, the Vita does have a limit on how many items you can download at a single time, so it would be helpful to keep an eye on which of the songs you've yet to have. Ridge Racer Ultimate Edition is fun in short bursts and dependable on the go. The online integration is an ambitious feature making you feel like you're part of a bigger race, if only much of the community were still active. Still, their ghost data should ignite intense races. With the Ultimate Edition label, there's an impression that you're getting a lot of bonuses, but really, there are things that should have come with the game in the first place. 
Having them all together now still feels low when you're paying full price, but in the case of PSN sales, where you can get the package for less than $11 Australian, it's not a bad deal, especially if you have friends to play with. That could make getting to a competitive online level that much more enjoyable.